Steve Boot, thanks very much for joining us. Technical conference is underway. Plenty of people here. They're all delighted to be here. What's it all about? Basically, we have technical staff who work in coach development, elite player development. They work with national teams. So what we try to do is we bring them under one umbrella, under the one thing they have in common, which is technical aspects of rugby. So they deliver the elite player programs. They deliver the coach development programs. They're at a level of community rugby, starting with mini, and some work in a department that works at stage five, which is uh, elite and professional rugby. So this is the first opportunity that we get in a year to pull them together and actually in-house improve ourselves. Every stage, one to five, everybody's talking about it, they all depend on each other, they all have knock-on effects from each other, so everybody's important. Yes, it's the principle of long term. You're going to basically get the rewards that other people uh, have provided for you in terms of the work that they do, regardless of whether it's in-house in the programmes or whether it's on the ground in schools and clubs. So what we do is we break down the barriers. Everybody has the same thing in common. We have our technical direction, and this is the chance for them, not just on a professional level, to exchange ideas and also to learn and improve in a safe environment, but also to break down the barriers between the provinces so that we work towards one collective direction. It's a short enough conference, it's a day and a half, so you must have, have some guide for them, and in technical terms, you're looking at movement or something, or anything in particular? Yes, um, what we've developed in order to facilitate this is a technical model. It's like a roadmap, and we developed this, I think, about a year and a half ago. And essentially what it does is it provides a compass, a direction for everybody. So everybody has this reference point, the same reference point, and what they do is they map themselves on it individually as to where they're going in their professional development, but also they map the programs that they uh, deliver on the ground, either through coach development or through elite player development. So by having this common reference point, it's, I suppose it's the gravity, it's the thing that pulls us together. And during the year we do a lot of in-house uh, meetings and workshops with these uh, staff, with the coaches, um, and they also run initiatives themselves to reinforce this direction. So even though this is the one time we all get together, to be fair, the work that they do among themselves uh, with their academy managers, with their uh, regional development managers, is uh, fantastic. And that's what continues to provide the opportunity and the impetus for them to keep learning. The ideas are already being battered about out there over coffee now at this stage. It is, uh, but we're under no illusions. This is long term. You know, the benefits of this and the benefits of those coaches or players who are going to receive, I suppose, the service that uh, our technical staff provide is in the future. So what we're trying to do is anticipate that, uh, but also bring some satisfaction to each of uh, these people here. You know, they work long hours, they work seven days a week, a lot of them, and th this is an opportunity to put something back into them. You know, the systems and programs, I think, all over the world are generally about the same, but the quality is what it's all about in terms of the people. And like many, many other unions and many other sports, all we're doing is our part in developing that quality and I suppose reinvesting in our staff. Well, I'm sure it'll go very well. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.